So you're welcome back to AD Charlie Bish and in today's video we've got our Iniesta player review and as you can see on screen, four games, seven goals, three assists. Very good record um, and a very good card and like for me this is more nostalgia like Iniesta, one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all times, like lit up a new wave of football for Barcelona and it's just great just to see these cards to come out just to replay with them. That's why I can't wait for when all these cards turn into icon cards like the Lampards, Drogba's, all them, Gerrard's, everyone. But we're going to do the Iniesta review today. Sorry it took a while to come out but um, being a bit busy and it was harder to get you know some gameplay sometimes because when you're playing with uh, FIFA you kind of tend to get bored but I did manage six foot champs games but without further ado we're going to jump into the video and upcoming is the best stats now <laughs> I said this many times before the best stats isn't the best stats he's got these are the best stats for his position and we played him in center attacker mid and center mid and as you can see his card 90 98 94 70 98 72 acceleration 91 sprint speed 90 that is crucial for a central midfielder especially in this late stage of FIFA they've got to be quick short passing 99 obviously you can play the passes like you'd expect ball control 99 rarely takes a bad touch always got it close near his feet dribbling 98 makes it easy to beat players in the attacking mid position and finishing 94 and you're going to see some sweet finishes by Iniesta in this upcoming gameplay and if I was to tell say uh, it's hard it's hard especially with the team of the seasons I don't think this card's great I feel like it's a very good card but just based on it's being Iniesta that's the only reason why I kind of want to use this card but because there's so many great cards out there now with team of the season like they're literally just countless however one thing I would say which is a very very good point to um, point out with Iniesta is that he's from Barcelona and he's Spanish so he gets a really good chemistry link with certain cards that you might not get elsewhere I don't know how much his uh, card was actually worth, but like how much it cost. I'm pretty sure it's like, like probably about in the 100k, maybe 200k. I haven't researched that. Obviously, it was the SBC, and you see a good pass there. You'll just I'll talk through the clips at the same time and talk overall what I feel about Iniesta. But overall, I feel like the card's a very good card. Uh, inconsistent shooting at times, but sometimes he can light things up. I just feel like he's small. Like for a central midfield to have him in centre mid, he's a small card. And like although Kante is small, Kante is a bit overpowered in the sense that he does crazy stuff. Whereas with Iniesta, if you have him at centre mid, he's not that well rounded defensively to, to warrant a centre mid position in my in my uh, opinion. However, he is decent at defending. Like, it's not horrible. Now to have him at attacking mid as well is like he's just in the middle of both sections. Like centre mid you could use him, but he isn't probably the best option. And in attacking mid, I felt like he could be used, but he isn't the best option again because you want to play cards maybe like. Um, you got the 99 Hazard out, obviously you might not be able to afford that, but there's certain cards out there that like are just suited for attacking midfielders, um, like Sun, Neymar, all them sort of cards that probably are better than Iniesta, but look at this beautiful dribbling, oh my days, the way you took it past that guy, watch the replay, this is mad, when I scored I was so excited, look, look, watch this, this little move here, look, Whew. It's crazy. But like again, I say definitely use him and give him a try. I feel like if you haven't got him, I'd definitely try get him. Especially this late stage in FIFA. It doesn't really matter. FIFA 19 will be out soon. Try and test these new cards and enjoy yourself basically because think about after this FIFA until Iniesta becomes an icon or a legend you're never going to get a chance to play with him basically now that he's moved leagues and his career is practically over I don't know how I didn't score that and I don't know how I didn't score that and he went into the keeper's arms but like I'd say definitely use him I would say that maybe yeah he's not like the top top tier but he's definitely mid tier definitely usable uh, give him a go for a little while he's definitely got some good long shots as well like he was known for in his prime and I would usually come up with some alternates, but obviously there's not really many cards that you can alternate with Iniesta. Like, there's probably cards similar, but the reason I feel like the big factor for Iniesta is just simply that it's Iniesta. Not because he's got good stats, but just because you want to play with him because he's obviously a legend. And you'll see this goal here. Watch this banger. Bit of tick attacker there. Gives it to Iniesta. Gives me well enough space. Bangs on his left foot. What a goal. That's Iniesta back in his prime right there. Left foot, right foot. He's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves. Um, which ain't too bad. Like that's that's decent. That's decent, I feel like, in the stage of FIFA. Um they're always important to have four star plus in my opinion in attacking mid roll. Now we're gonna get onto the rate and end of the video. This is like a quick ish review you know there's not much to say about it because you can't really compare him too much but i'd give him an 8 out of 10 um the reason why he's probably been pushed up to an 8 out of 10 just because he's chemistry links i feel like i was going to give him 7.5 but i felt like no nah, it's a bit harsh he has scored some goals and got some assists but like i said like just get him just to use him it's in yes the one last chance it's hard to kind of come up with a review now this stage of FIFA just simply because it's Iniesta you like it's hard to compare because there's so many great cards out there now back in the day when I was making them uh, there's not there's a like few cards you could pick from so it made sense more but this is the end of the player review make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and hit a like on the video and leave in the comments below what do you think of Iniesta if you used him and why didn't you get him if you never 
on the screen right now, they're all my uh, social media, so make sure you go follow me. I reply back to everybody um, and give me suggestions what you want to see in the future. This is Andy Charlie Bish, learn, change, and entertain. <laughs>